Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Marianne, thanks for joining us. You're originally from the States, but you've been living in Malta now for nine years and painting the scenery and the architecture all this time. How would you describe your work? I do mixed media, mm -hmm. which means that I use a lot of collage and various paint techniques and photo transfer. So we're here to get a bit of a behind the scenes look at what you do. What are you mm -hmm. going to be showing us? I'll show you how I do some of my work. For example, in this picture, I have images that I've collected, some I've taken, pictures that I've taken myself, with watercolor, some photo transfer, and oil paint on top of that. So you're using all of these techniques in one image. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage of doing that? Well, it's just super fun. Mm -hmm. So I hope that that uh, conveys. As I'm doing it, it just gets very playful and experimental. Mm -hmm. But also the photographic quality of some of the pictures that I put in the focal point add a lot of detail and interest, and then there's the looseness of the painting. So tell me a little bit about the materials and the equipment that you've got on the table here. All right, I usually start with mixed media paper mm -hmm. because it's very durable and I can do all kinds of work with that. And then I'll add some watercolors. And after I put some images on that, I might even do some photo transfers using the acrylic medium. Then I add the water mixable oils. So tell me a little bit about your choice of paints. All right, so the watercolors. Um, I love the Rembrandt watercolors because I've used them for years and the quality is spectacular. But also, when it comes like this in a pan, I can take it, it's got a neat holder in the bottom. Oh, for your finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got a neat <laughs> holder. And so I could take it on location and I can okay. paint directly. Uh -huh. um, it's got lots of convenient little places to put the paint. So it's just very easy to work with. Although it's also got these little pieces that once one color runs out, you can replace just that color. They've got tons of colors. And so based on my experience for years, uh, I just know I'm very happy with the quality of it. This oil paint is super convenient because you don't have to worry about fumes. Mm -hmm. And I even use it like with students, young students, and I don't have to tell parents, I don't have to tell anybody, you know, worry about the fumes because that's not an issue with these. It's great for schools, isn't it? It really is, yeah. yeah. I highly recommend it. So also the quality is, is very good on these, very creamy and really rich colors. When I want impasto effect, really thick paint, then I will add the uh, painting paste to it mm -hmm. and it gets a nice thickness and I'll use the, the knives with that. Now the gel medium is an acrylic medium. Mm -hmm. I use that for many different purposes. This mm -hmm. is the golden thing <laughs> right here because I can use it, if I wanna do collage, I can create a base and put down my various pieces of material, um, photos, mm -hmm. um, torn paper, all kinds of things, and smooth that down and then go over it. And because this is glossy, mm -hmm. it creates a really nice crisp image. Okay. So then I can apply acrylic paints or oils or watercolors on top of that and it doesn't seep through. But there's also the fact that I can do photo transfers. So this is the exciting part for me. Yeah. So it's not just a, a medium, mm -hmm. it's got an extra special purpose. Tell us about this photo transfer business. All right, so when you do a photo transfer, you put down this medium and then you put your image mm -hmm. face down. Mm -hmm. And after it's dried, then you can rub off the paper mm -hmm. on the back and you get the image that has transferred onto the canvas or to the uh -huh. the paper. And I can see that on this yes, canvas. Yes, we have some images you. here. I, oh. I also use that for, there's little bits of magazine 
textures and uh -huh. images that are here. But one thing that I've found since I started using this brand, this is Amsterdam. And Amsterdam is much more thorough and fast mm -hmm. compared to other brands that I've used. Okay. So it's like a dream. I mean, I tried to use it um, thinking, oh, it'll be just like everything else. And actually, it really saved me a lot of time. I didn't have to work as hard to rub away the backing. Uh -huh. So so can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be demonstrating? What I start with is just playing around with various images and my watercolors. Then I'll collage them with the uh, gloss acrylic mm -hmm. medium. Once that's dry, then I can put on the oil paint. When I'm very, very near the end, I might add some of the texture to it by scraping into the thicker paint and so on. Great. Well, okay. looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just going to dig in and put on lots of water. Let's imagine that that's dry. All right, so what I'm going to do is begin photo transfer. And I will decide, for example, I really like various Baroque patterns. This is just an example I'm gonna show how to apply uh, something that I'm going to transfer. So here's how it works. I'm going to tear off the parts I don't want. And I'm going to use this gel medium, which is glossy. It'll let the image show really well. Okay, without using any water, I'm just going to apply this. And it'll dry clear, so it doesn't matter if I overlap what I've already got on here. So these images are just on inkjet printer paper. Got to make sure that there's no bubbles. Now, I'm going to set that aside. I'll show you how to remove the paper after it's totally dry. I'm going to use um, the backing that I had before when I was doing the watercolor. I just have a kitchen scrubby and I'm going to use the rough side to take the paper off. So what I do is I get it pretty wet and start just going in a circular motion, just enough to, to rough it up the, the paper back. You can do this with magazine images. I like to use um, textures from magazines. Now I have one image here that I already finished. I'm going to use a photo that I took of a door that I really liked. So I'm going to start tearing away parts that I don't really want to keep. And I have a choice here. I could just collage this directly onto the paper and it would be opaque. Or I could photo transfer it and whatever's underneath would show through. I'm going to do the collage method. I still have to make sure that I don't have any bubbles, so keep checking it.
The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com.